Tras 26 años en IBM, John Swanson asumió el cargo de CEO de Computer Associates, actual CEA, en uno de los momentos más dramáticos para la compañía, pues algunos miembros de su cúpula directiva se enfrentaban a acusaciones de fraude. Swanson, que visita cada filial una vez al año, habló con Computer World sobre el pasado y el futuro de la empresa. Ha pasado tres años desde que asumió la dirección de CEA. ¿Se arrepiente de haber dado este paso? Ha trabajado 26 años en IBM. ¿Qué aspectos de IBM incorporaría CEA? IBM does many things well, but IBM's a much bigger, much more um, integrated company, um, and so I, I don't try and take anything necessarily from IBM other than good ideas. Um, but we've tried to take good ideas from wherever we can find them. Uh, CA had a lot of very good things going on, and we tried to build upon those things. Um, obviously, there were things that I had learned at 26 years at IBM. There are things that we learn from Microsoft, from Oracle, from HP, from, from we have not been um, we have not been reluctant to you know grab good ideas when we found them and incorporate them into the business. And 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 ultimately what we're trying to do is create a CA way of doing things that is appropriate for a company our size in our business, um, with our history, with our products, uh, In our markets. ¿Qué errores cree que ha cometido CA a lo largo de estos años? CA was too broad in the sense that it's it spanned too much of the marketplace to be ever known for being good in anything. And what we've tried to do um, recently is narrow our focus to this area we call enterprise IT management and really concentrate on that, make that the focus for our acquisitions, our development, our activity. We train all our people in this. And so try not to be all things to all people. Try and be really a very focused company. Um, that's the main difference, I would say, from old CA to new CA. ¿Está afectando la crisis al gasto en tecnología? Uh, you know, I think it has to, but I also think it's too early to say what part of tech spending it's going to impact specifically. I'm sure it will impact things that are viewed as discretionary. So PC replacement cycles will get longer, maybe new projects will be delayed. But you know, if you think about what happens in these kinds of times, people still want to improve their productivity. People still want to manage the risk in their business. So I don't think that businesses will say they want to be less productive or more risky than they were in the past. So I don't think they're going to want less IT. Varios analistas han expresado su preocupación de que CEA basa demasiado sus ingresos en mainframe. ¿Son los mainframes un mercado decreciente? It's more than half of our business um, and it's growing. People are using mainframes for more and more types of mission critical applications. So whether it's Santander or BBVA or Telefonica, you know, big companies rely on mainframes to do large scale mission critical processing of transactions and data. The mainframe's never going to go away. There's trillions of dollars of investment in mainframes. It's the, they're not going away. IBM is shipping more mainframes this year than any other year in history. My job is to find the opportunity. And as good as business as we have on the mainframe, we see more growth opportunity in the distributed space.